To predict future climate change, it's important for us to study the historical climatic patterns of the past. One of the greatest influences on climate is the El Nino and La Nina effects, which are, which are born in the Indo-Pacific warm pool off the coast of Australia and Asia. Within this warm pool, we have what is called the El Nino Southern Oscillation. And what will happen at times is that you'll have um, periods where you'll have a complete reversal in wind and precipitation patterns, and this is known as a monsoon. So what we want is something that has recorded the monsoons of the past. Lakes are a great way of recording historical data. And one lake in China, Lake Fujian Lake, is uh, an ancient lake which we have speculated to be able to record these monsoonal events. We've also speculated that Fujian Lake has been able to record the anthropogenic effects, meaning the effects caused by humans in the area locally. So we've gathered a, one, a 31 centimeter core from Fujian Lake through Yunnan Normal University, through Dr. Hafner and Th Dr. Hu Chai Chang. We slice this core up into one centimeter intervals, and it's important to remember that near the top of the core, you'll have more recent historical data, and as you go down, further down, you go further down into the past. So we divided this up into one centimeter each. We recorded each sample through uh, spectrometry to analyze the elemental concentration of each sample. This is important because Different elements can tell us different information of the uh, lake, and we can use this to reconstruct its history. What we found is through analyzing elements such as sodium and potassium, there seems to be some sort of cyclic event where we'll have major droughts and major uh, rainfall in the area over and over again throughout the core, which seems to suggest that this lake does in fact record these monsoonal events. We've also uh, seen through analyzing elements such as copper and mercury and zinc that there has been some sort of a drift in these elemental concentrations near the top of the core, suggesting that this core is actually recording anthropogenic effects. These results are important for many reasons. One, there are people who live near Fujian Lake and people who are probably thinking of living there. And we've seen through our data that over and over again, this lake has gone through major rainfall. So that means that this lake, which, was, which is considered to be their home, may one day become a flood. On the other hand, we know that there have been major periods of drought, and one of the most threatening consequences to, of climate change is uh, loss of water, loss of fresh water to be exact. And Lake Fusion is one of the most important freshwater sources in the country. By studying Lake Fusion, we come closer to learning about the past climatic patterns so that we can make proper prediction of future climate change and prepare ourselves that for the climate change that has yet to come.